Good morning everyone! So today we will be having another plant feature but before we start that, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe and please don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you'll be notified when I have a new video up. See you in a bit! I can hide Good morning everyone! So today is another plant feature and we will be discussing all about my one of my first few favorites would be the Rubidona. Ayan! So pretty! Um, medyo madumi siya ngayon kasi kakaspray ko lang ng, ano, ng fungicide. <laughs> so, nagka-stain talaga siya. But yun nga, ngayon tag-ulan, mas gugustuhin ko na talaga siyang mag-stain kesa magkaroon ng fungus. Ayan! So, Quick update lang sa greenhouse ko. Naglagay ako ng mga fans. There we go. Look at that. So, per row, naglagay ako ng fan. Yan. So, isa sa green box. And then, here, another one, another one, another one. So, instead of putting up a fan, um, na stand fan, na ang hirap kong ilagay kasi pag umuulan and everything, no? Kailangan ko ipasok sa loob and stuff like that. So, medyo mabusisi. So, ito, nandiyan nakaklip on na siya. Aayusin ko na lang yung mga wires niya later kapag hindi na mainit. Pero nakakatawa kasi, it's so, ano, it's so airy. <laughs> Kaparang windy na dito sa loob ng greenhouse. So, nakakatawa. And the UV plastic sa backing niya, malaking help kasi hanggang dito, mararamdaman mo yung hangin. So, very breezy na siya. So, kung air circulation na pag-uusapan, may air circulation na silang lahat. So, even here, ramdam na ramdam mo yung hangin dito. So, nakakatawa. Hopefully, it does something um, amazing to the plants. Um, again, it's a work in progress. It's an, it's an open experiment. Uh, again, hindi naman po ako bihasa. Hindi ako expert. Um, I'm just trying out different things that works for my garden and if it does work for me, then I share it to all of you kasi baka kung nag-work sa akin, mag-work din sa inyo yun um, so yun, mag-start na tayo sa Rubidona Nag natuwa lang talaga ako dito sa, ano, sa fan and yun nga, at the same time, nakakatawa kasi look, yesterday I turned it off the fan umabot ako ng 95% uh, percent humidity and then, nag-open ako ngayong morning ng fan. And look, it's already 65%, uh, percent, no? Um, 65, 68%. Ang laki na na rin ang binaba niya. And then, kahit medyo mainit ngayon. So, sobrang laking tulong. Ayan. Kaya, I always put it here sa uh, table ko para at least um, uh, madali ko makita. And then, I just do the necessary adjustments if I feel like the humidity is still very high, the temperature is still very high, then I do change some of it. Ayan. So, um, Rubidona is one of my super favorites. Uh, nauso din siya recently dahil sa color niya. Ayan. Um, sobrang ano lang, uh, you know, it's one of the easiest plants that I've cared for. So, I'm very happy with this one. Uh, it's an Echeveria species. So, ang care ko sa kanya is just regular Echeveria care. So, let's start with the basics. Um, once you get it, you don't have to worry because Rubidona is one of the easiest uh, plants to root. Mabilis siyang mag-ugat. One week pa lang may maglalabasan ng ugat. Minsan darating nga sa inyo yan, may ugat na. Uh, ganun sila kabilis mag, uh, mag-root. Um, for long travels or kunyari na delay yung shipment mo, meron din silang tendency to etiolate. So, um, yun lang yung medyo babantayan nyo sa kanya. But, sobrang bait ni Rubidona kasi mabilis din siyang makabawi. Uh, usually, when when it arrives, medyo on the paler side siya. Something like this, no? Medyo pale. But this one is pale because it's sick. So, uh, ibang issue yan. Um, anyways, so yun, after nyong makuha si Rubidona, usually imported naman si Rubidona, wala pa ako masyado nakikita ang nagka-propagate ng, Rubid, ng Rubidona na binget. So usually when you buy Rubidona, it's, it must be K-pop. So, ayun. So pot, kahit ipot nyo na the same day, it's fine. Um, you don't have to worry about them. And you can start watering after one week. So after one week, what I do is, I water it again 
with my 10ml practice kasi nga gusto ko dahan-dahan silang ini-introduce sa water. Um, if you want to understand again why I use my 10ml method or I use my syringe method or controlled watering, I have another video for that. I will put the link uh, on the description box below so that you can also check it out. Um, again, uh, for new plants, I use the 10ml method. So, kung meron akong 1 liter, gagamitan ko siya ng Siam Early Grow or Vitamin B1. But this one, uh, okay ako dito kasi at least madaling makuha, mabil, ma, uh, madaling mabili, and locally available siya. No? So, meron din siyang ANAA, yung uh, NAAA. -A -A -A. Ayan. Tapos yung mga Vitamin B1, nandiyan na siya. No? So, gro uh, uh, growth hormone siya. So, um, you use 15 ml per gallon kung magtotodo ka ng uh, watering day, isawa mo na siya. Or kung gusto mong pa unti unti lang, uh, dinivide ko kasi yung uh, 1 gallon to uh, 15 ml. So, that is around 3.75 uh, ml. So, ito siya, 3.75 ml. Ayan. So, ilalagay ko siya sa 1 liter of water. And then, you just mix Ayan. And then, I'll just use 10 ml to water my plant for new ones. So, I water it on the brim of the pot. Here na lang. I'll water on the brim of the pot, not touching the stem muna. Ayan. So, again, um, I'll do this after a week of potting. So, after a week of potting, mabibigyan ko na siya ng water na 10 ml ko. I'll do that every 4 days kasi mabilis naman siya matuyo every 3 to 4 days. And then, um, pag napansin ko na may naglabasa na siya ng mga baby roots, something like that, ano? Teka, let me zoom it in. Okay. There we go. Something like that, you'll see roots to come uh, coming out. Yan. Then, I can increase to 20 ml uh, every 3 to 4 days. Ayan. Um, again, part of our um, 10 order of uh, order list of priorities, hindi ko muna papansinin yung kulay. Kasi pag dumating sa inyo, maputla, ba? So, wag nyo agad i-force na pakulayin. So, be, uh, you know, just like with all of my succulents, I make sure that I don't, uh, I don't, uh, try to stress them early on kasi ang focus ko muna is paugatin and then patabain, ba? So, pag nakuha mo na yung dalawa na yun, then you can uh, you can shift to uh, trying to color them, trying to you know, make them stressed na. So, ayun. After nyo mapat, anong anong ginagamit ko nga palang soil? Ang soil na ginagamit ko dito would again, be just a regular um Regular soil mix, and then I just add akadama and kanuma. Ito nga wala pa eh. Ito, yan. This one is just pure plant culture pH soil. Um, this one is my old soil mix. Kasi ito yung original ko. Hindi ko pa siya nariripat. Actually, iriripat ko na rin siya ngayon. I'll show you guys how I do it. And then, these ones are the ones with akadama and kanuma. Ayan. Ah, uh, okay. So, hindi sila mapiki sa, sa lupa. Um... I use clay pot, terracotta pots, just because um, I really feel that uh, my plants are doing much better in terracotta pots. Uh, yun lang naman yung ano yan, yung reason yan. But you could use any pot if you want. Um, and then, after that, so, na discuss na natin yung soil, water, again, I just water, uh, uh, controlled watering ako for the first uh, few months, kahit two months na controlled watering ka. And then, on the third month, pwede mo na siyang i-full water every uh, soak and dry method ka na. So, parang ito, established na sila, ba? This one, I can water, again, I don't water the, 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 ano, I don't get the plant wet. Pero, binubuhusan ko na siya ng tubig. Ayan. So, todo-todo na yan. Hmm. So, hangga sa mag-drip yung ilalim, yan ang tubig niya na pag established pag hindi pa controlled watering muna so yun ang ano sa kanya and then you feel like the leaves are uh, it's supposed to be hard kailangan hindi siya yung parang uh, nagabend ayan matigas dapat siya ayan para ano para ito tayo umiinom na siya sa bottom leaf niya kasi medyo natagalan ako ng ng ano sa kanya ng tubig so anyways okay na yan diyan 
So, yun. After nun, sa so watering mo, sunlight requirement niya, ganun din ako sa kanya. Morning sun muna, 6 to 9, and then after 1 to 2 weeks, 6 to 10, and then another 1 to 2 weeks, 6 to 11. And then after that, nilalagay ko na siya dito sa aking grow box where it gets full filtered sun the whole day except well today kasi nga may puno ako dito no so yun nandito na siya nakalagay and it gets full filtered sun the rest of the day and it doesn't burn naman so super happy naman niya tapos ang pula-pula na niya kasi nga yun um may sa order of priorities ko sinundan ko siya so ayun uh, meron ng malaking difference sa kanya sa color this one naman at ano yung mga uh, what to watch out for um, the stem of the rubidona is pretty um, sturdy. So, hindi ako ganun kaproblemado sa kanya when it comes to um, the stem. Roots din, mat medyo matibay-tibay din siya. But, the leaves na pansin ko are prone to fungus. Ayan. So, like this one, nagkaroon siya ng uh, fungal infection. You can see black spots there. Uh, you can see the, ayan, there, the, the markings. Ayan. Um, ang mangyayari sa kanya, magkakaroon siya ng ganito, matutuyo, matutuyo na matutuyo yung dahon niya, or mag-drop. Um, but, ang maganda naman kay Ruby Donna, mabilis siyang gamutin. Ayan. Ito, actually, dalawa silang nagkasakit, kasi magkatabi silang ganyan. O, di pareha silang may sakit. <laughs> um, nahawa sila sa isang plant. Tinabihan ko kasi ng ano, ng plant na hindi ko na na hindi ko na quarantine ayan, so anyways um, sila lahat ngayon treated sila, dahil uh, nagkakatabi sila, so since magkatabi sila, tinreat ko sila what I use with this one of course is just folicore um, I tried diethane, I tried ano, okay din naman yung diethane sa kanya, medyo slow lang yung ano, yung pag work ng diethane compared to folicore kaya mas gusto ko talaga si folicore um, plus the mere fact that folicore does not stain because I just water it then systemic fungicide siya so ngayon, question is Miss Dots, paano nyo ngayon malalaman kung magaling na yung halaman nyo okay, hindi po mawawala yung marks na yan Ayan. so those marks that you see right there right there it will not go away like hindi yan mawawala ang hahanapin nyo would be new growth, look at this new growth the new leaf, wala siyang any markings of black yan, ba? wala siyang any black spots, even the other one there, there I have been treating this for the past month or so, and um, finally I think I've, I have the uh, the infection at hand uh, nakokontrol ko na siya dahil yung gitna niya malinis na, ayan look the old leaves, I don't mind. Um, aanuhin nyo na lang yan. Um, matutuyo na lang yan. mag drop off na lang yan. And it's okay. Uh, what's important for me is A, the stem is fine. It's doing great. Ayan. Meron na siyang small pop coming out din, oh. Pero, oh. Yung mga black na yan, ayan yung mga marks niya ng fung fungus. Ayan. Nagkaroon siya ng mga scars. May scarring siya, no? Ayan. Same with this one. Look. May mga markings yung fungus sa stem niya. Pero, um, makikita mo na yung kulay niya sa loob, pink pa rin and active pa rin yung stem kasi naglalabas pa ng roots. Ayan. So, hindi ko yan, uh, hindi ko yan give up on. Ayan. So, pag nakakita kayong ganyan, don't give up agad on your plants. Um, if, if, konti pa lang naman yung, or nasa leaves pa lang yung, um, yung mga black spots folicore nyo agad kaya yun nga ba sinabi ko sa sa isang video ko na what what are your must haves in your in your garden kit no in your in your trolley kit is that you should always have a systemic fungicide a, a contact fungicide a systemic uh, insecticide uh, and a, con, a contact insecticide kasi yun yung mga parang ano ba parang gamot parang dapat meron ka laging first aid kit Yun, ganun din sa mga halaman. Kailangan kompleto tayo sa mga kailangan nila. May band aid tayo dapat, may vitamins, may pang ubo, may pang lagnat. Kasi iba-iba din yung mga sakit nila. Rust fungus din. Dapat din meron din tayong copper based na fungicide. Kasi merong fungicides na hindi kaya ang rust. 
So, yun. Um, same si for Ruby Donna, napansin ko sa kanya, it's really more of the black spots na type na fungus. The one that really goes to the base of the leaf. Ayan, like that. Yung pumupunta dyan sa base ng leaf. Pero hindi siya masyado on the stem. So, with that, uh, follicore was enough and sufficient for her to be okay. So, yun na yung ginagamit ko ngayon sa kanya. Um, yun, uh, basically, that's it. Fertilizer. I don't use fertilizer anymore. With any of my plants, you won't see me use um, Osmocot. Although, I have a, like a bottle full of Osmocot. I don't use it. I only use it for my cacti. Um... Kasi yun nga, si plant culture PH may vermicast na rin siya sa soil. Or if you put vermicast in your soil, okay na siya. Hindi mo na kailangan ng anymore. So, um, maliit na amount of uh, fertilizer would suffice already. So, eto na siya kapag laki. Ayan. So, now let me show you guys kung paano ako mag-repot ng rubidona. Ayan. So, let's start repotting. Of course, you'll need a prying tool for this one kasi like ito, established na siya. Tanggalin lang natin itong magkakalap na rin ako sa table ko. <laughs> so, liglipit na lang ako later. And then, since medyo masikip na siya, try natin i-pry, no? Ayaw. So, I'll use this one. Para siyang may cutting tool dito. So, I use that to cut the roots on the side. The rest of the roots are actually still here. Ayan, kumapit na siya. Dito sa pot. Ayan, so, tatanggalin na lang natin. Ayan, ayan. Hindi pa siya ganun ka root bound, pero nasa ilalim na yung roots niya. So, it's best that we um, repot. Why? Kasi, um, if the plant gets root bound, it will stop growing. So, para maiwasan natin na hindi na siya mag-grow, um, kailangan natin mag-replenish ng nutrients sa soil, kailangan natin um, mag-provide ng bigger pot sa kanya, like this one, ano, magbibigay ako sa kanya ng bigger pot, para meron siyang panibagong tutubuan na area. So, for this one, I'll just, um, medyo isasoften ko lang yung root ball niya. Ayan. Hindi ko na kailangan mag-root trim kasi um, konti pa lang naman siya active naman yung mga roots niya. So, okay lang din. Ayan. Linis-linis lang. This one looks spent, no? Wala na siyang kahit anong type of lupa. Halos bato-bato na siya. So, what I do is I get fresh soil and then I replenish. So, ayan. And then, ba balik lang ulit sa pot. Ito, hindi ko na muna gagamitin niya. Pwede niya pang gamitin yung um, soil. Ako, I, uh, I honestly, nagre-reuse ako ng soil sa mga lupa lang naman na hindi nagkaroon ng sakit na halang. Like this one, hindi siya nagkaroon ng sakit. Very healthy plant. So, the soil is still viable. It's still okay. So, what I do is ayan. So, lalagyan ko na siya ngayon ng bagong soil. Cover again. Hindi na kailangan i-air dry. Kasi tuyo. And I make sure nga pala before I uproot yung tuyo yung lupa. So, medyo uhaw siya uh, kapag tinanin ko ulit. Para yung soil niya tuyo. So, no chance of um, uh, pasukin siya ng bacteria kapag, or ma-overwater siya, mag-soggy siya kapag ano, kapag uh, nag-uproot. Ayan. So, there. And then, pwede na kayo mag-toppings dito ng uh, lava rocks, ganyan. 
So for this one, siguro lagi tayo ng lava rocks. Ayan. Ang pabigat, lava rocks. I like using the color black kasi lalo na kung red yung halaman mo or may kulay siya or kahit yung green eh kasi pumuputok yung kulay. Kapag um, black yung lava rock. Pag yung gamit mo. Ang kalat. <laughs> okay lang yan. Saya naman eh. This is mine. Bagong repot. Diba? Cute, cute. Uh... There. So, natapos na natin yung repot. Ang ating ribidona. This one, hindi pa kailangan kasi medyo bago-bago pa to. Siguro mga 5 uh, months pa lang sa akin to. So, okay pa naman siya ng ganyan. Uh, actually, kasing age na itong mga to. Pero ito, nag um, timo ang laki ng difference sa size nila, no? Kasi ito nagkasakit. Ito ang isa, hindi. So anyways, um, I hope you enjoyed watching the video and I hope you learned something new and I hope you can consider trying out the Rubidona lalo sa mga beginners na pakabait niyang alagaan um, it also brings out a different color into your um, into your garden kasi usually majority na nabibili natin will turn green um, will turn yellow ganyan, diba? So, uh para may konting uh, spice naman ng ating uh, ating garden. Kaya ito gustong gusto ko kasi kapag tinabi mo siya sa mga ibang halaman, putok na putok siya, diba? So, yun. Uh, I hope you enjoyed watching and please, again, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next video. And please don't forget to choose to be kind always. Bye!